And what I want to do is I want to move this uh, distant blue mountain back here. Um, a little further back in space because I know that it is further back. Okay. like that is nice so that when you <clears throat> happen to look over here and then I also like to just sort of you know do a little bit of coloring on that as well okay so there we go can make the water transparent that layer in which case i'd go to like 25 exactly 25 because it matters okay, so like that's one way to do water it's pretty believable throw some animation on that you know color it a basically a slight sort of shift of blue you know whatever the atmosphere color is you dust that on there just like that right
here is a great little trick I want to show you. Toro taught me this. So now all my reflections are in one layer. I'm going to rename that as reflect. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do this cool trick. I'm going to make a new layer. Call it ripple. And I'm going to go into a ripple, go to frame zero, and give it like, I don't know, 24 frames maybe. And then what you want to do <clears throat> in that paint layer, you're just going to grab a paintbrush using a sphere usually. Uh, and I go and I basically sample the color of the reflection and with a light animated duration. Just kind of give it a little bit of a ripple of animation directly next to the pixel that I'm selecting, the color. And what that will do is essentially mimic ripples really well, actually. Especially when you have high contrasting colors like this dark against the sky, your eye will really pick that up quickly. And it just, you don't need to do much. It works. Same with this green against the blue. Um, it's pretty much what nature's doing. I mean, it's what you see in ripples. Like, you know, you see the ripple picking up sky color and it highly contrasting against the dark of, you know, some shade. And that's what makes reflecting water look like it's constantly highly contrasted. So, it's, you know, kind of mimics the same effect. And I love it because is so simple and it's so controllable that, you know only where you want it like i want some of this bank to reflect so i'll just do that and like some of them i might stretch the timing on a little bit I think we still need to make those bigger from our viewpoint because I realize I lost all that. So that means this all needs to go higher. Here, you want to tint them this color. So you're kind of like breaking the hillside silhouettes up, which is essentially what, again, distance and fogging and atmospherics are doing in real life. So I'm just kind of mimicking that. Uh, okay, so I think that's pretty good. So the other thing I wanted to put in here were just one or two hills that are like actual have wine hills on them so for that i'll just kind of like grab a mass this and let's maybe put it over here color it the same color as the terrain grass except i'm gonna make sure this side is shade and that side is not and so you get this kind of nice rim light effect on it
pretty much what it was like, I think. I think those hills are too big, so I think like that's part of what you want to figure out is they want to be way over here and probably 